Hi everyone, my name is Chitis Kanal. I am currently uh, a chairperson at Open Knowledge Nepal, which is a local uh, chapter of the Open Knowledge Foundation based in Kathmandu, Nepal. And I'm also a PhD student at UNC Chapel Hill uh, at the Department of City and Regional Planning. Today, I'm going to talk about how we can uh, leverage existing open infrastructure for better science education in order to make science more open. So everyone in open communities agrees that open science is a social justice issue and it uh, uh, is built on the same foundations as science and uh, we know that uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, not uh, everybody from different geographies has the same uh, benefits and and opportunities so we need to make uh, science more uh, more open and to do that we need to make science more accessible uh, to, uh, to address the issues of social justice around science and uh, open science and one way that we can do that is by better science education and uh, uh, and over the years, I've been uh, I've been lucky to be a part of several science education projects. And uh, uh, from my experiences uh, fr from the projects, so uh, there are some elements that we could incorporate in different uh, science education projects to make uh, make them better. So some of them are some of these are listed here. Uh, we can adopt a lot of open education resources. We can create a lot of open education resources as a part of the process, and uh, uh, we can follow uh, existing open education practices. And one way to make learning outcomes really better is to adopt constructivism. By, uh, so that is by uh, learning, by making, and and experimenting. And another part that really makes it better is community-led development. So it's not only the instructor who gets to decide how uh, how all the learning happens. But, uh, but everybody involved. So it's the students, it's the uh, parents, it's, uh, it's the curriculum designers, it's, it's everybody. So community-led development is uh, important. And finally, we should not forget fun, having fun. And I will talk about two of uh, the projects uh, and one of them, and this is kind of like my first uh, first science education project. I started it in 2015 uh, while I was, I had recently graduated and I was working as a mechanical design consultant at an uh, architectural firm. The project uh, was about teaching uh, aerodynamics by building uh, simple things like, like paper planes. So, <clears throat> So the idea was to be able to create, uh, to be able to teach the basics or fundamental concepts of aerodynamics to uh, to everybody without uh, making it seem seem very hard. So uh, we uh, uh, so I designed it, it uh, like a series of workshops uh, where you would learn a, a few new concepts uh, of aerodynamics in in each workshop and. Uh, and the making part uh, should could be able to uh, uh, be done using easily available materials like like paper and uh, the open infrastructure that uh, that i leveraged in the project was using uh, github for all the content uh, <coughs> content development and using cc creative commons attributions licenses uh, for for the workshop content so that uh, everybody would be easily able to adopt uh, and use uh, use the con Content. So let's see if the YouTube video works. Okay, yeah. So uh, what I'm trying to do in this is uh, uh, trying to demonstrate how uh, the shape of wings of an airplane uh, makes it uh, makes it easy for, for it um, to lift the airplane even though it's interacting with uh, the flow of air that's horizontal and and to and for the demonstration uh, all we need is paper tape and something that looks like a ball pen paper so uh, so everything in the workshop uh, is designed to be uh, using materials like like these to teach the fundamental concepts and uh, while i was building the project i was a part of mozilla's open leadership training that helped me uh, put a lot of things in perspective helped me design a lot of content and how to uh, leverage uh, uh, leverage uh, github in developing open educational resources uh, and i learned a lot uh, and uh, 
So but one of the things that I learned is that just because you have something on GitHub doesn't mean it ensures participation. Although it ensured a lot of exposure, uh, much more than I expected. I got featured in blogs. I got a lot of buzz on Twitter more than I expected, but the, that doesn't mean uh, educators are going to adopt your content. So I, I think uh, in hindsight, I should have reached out to teachers and education companies a lot earlier than I did. And uh, one thing I learned that I, I you shouldn't be uh, building things alone if you want people to adopt it. Uh, but right after that, I was working in a company called Cartfundry Living Labs, which works a lot on open data and technology, uh, and primarily around geographical, geographical open data and open street map data. So uh, at, at Cartfundry Living Labs, I was designing, uh, I was leading a team that designed uh, a virtual intensive program in which undergraduate students in uh, Nepal could uh, <clears throat> learn uh, local geographical concepts and local geography and participate in open street map community uh, through the virtual intensive program and everything about the program is detailed in this paper in the journal of open geospatial data software and standards and uh, the things that i tried to implement were uh, using uh, the open infrastructure of open street map uh, implementing it as virtual intensive program and uh, help making the participants uh, choose their own learning track, uh, things that they wanted to learn or uh, contribute OpenStreetMap data in places that they wanted to contribute. And we got a lot of feedback during the program and we uh, implemented like three cohorts so that, uh, so we were able to uh, incorporate participant feedback in every, in the program design of next cohort. So what I learned that we could use a lot of existing educational resources. We didn't have to create a lot of new stuff. We just had to repurpose and repackage in our program and uh, working with the participants and letting them decide their own track helped the learning outcomes of the project uh, as reflected in their own feedback and reports. Uh, but uh, if I had to finally reflect on the key things that I learned from these two and other science education projects and uh, I have a bit of an interdisciplinary project and I consider geography to be as much of a science as natural sciences and engineering sciences. So uh, uh, in order to, uh, so, so what I learned was in order to make science more accessible and uh, more open, which should be fun, uh, we should incorporate uh, the elements of uh, making it interesting and fun. And another thing that I, uh, that I want to highlight that we should also, uh, and that community is infrastructure, and I don't mean to dehumanize the community, but to uh, but to highlight the role uh, of community in in success of every open knowledge or open source uh, project. Thank you.